Hello, 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 my friends. Allie from Totero here. It has been <laughs> the absolute hottest of minutes since I have been here and made a video for you guys. And today, I have finally decided to get back in the game. So this video is basically going to be a giant homage to Jamie Sawyer, who I've made a video in the past about her Pocket of Peers tarot tiles, which we'll be using today, um, as well as her Creative Divination book, which has a bunch of different uh, layouts and spread boards, you know, to use, which we will definitely be making more use of, as well as her recently... Uh, fulfilled Kickstarter of the Sawyer's Path Tarot and the uh, Tarot 33.6, which is uh, kind of a mashup of her red pencil sketches and the full color Sawyer's Path Tarot, as well as her Nature's Portal or Animal Oracle and her Sawyer's Lenormand and Points to Ponder Dice. So basically, welcome to Jamie Sawyer. <laughs> um, in addition to all that, I actually am taking a huge uh, guide from Jamie herself because she has started posting these types of videos where she will create a spread each week. She posts on Mondays. That kind of gives an overall look into the week ahead. I decided to do one today, being Sunday, but uh, I'm basically going to just follow in her footsteps and I think I'm going to try to start posting weekly spreads here for you guys as well. Uh, I'll be switching up the tarot decks and whatnot, not always using Jamie Sawyer's, uh, Sawyer's path, but anyway, blabbering aside, let's get started. So I've already shuffled all these decks, so what I will do is I will go ahead and pick the top card from the red pencil sketches. Oh, upside down. So we have the Eight of Pentacles, and in this position we will... Uh, talk about where we are coming from, what we have been doing or interacting with. And then the center position, we will use the Tarot 33.6 to kind of show where we're at currently. Like I said, it's kind of a mix of both. The full color and red sketch right down the middle. And here we have the Page of Swords. And then our third slot will be the full color Sawyer's Path Tarot. And, oh my gosh, they're all upside down. And we have the Knight of Wands. So let's take a second to digest this. What I'm kind of seeing when I look at this is that we're coming from a place of putting in some work, right? The Eight of Pentacles talks about skill and perseverance and putting in the effort and now we are in a space with a page of swords so our we are in a an action state right we are in the beginning stages of okay well now I have this decision to make or I feel this mental clarity inspiration what am I going to do with it and our third position being the Knight of Wands, that is going all in, right? It is the, it is the go for it, follow that passion, nurture the spark, do something with it, right? Like put some effort into creativity. So it's kind of what we're seeing here is through the hard work that we've put in, maybe it's, you know, the processes that you've gone through or Perhaps uh, if you go to therapy, this could be the work that you put in in therapy. Uh, it could also literally be the physical act of work, right? The building of finances of stability. And now it's given us a new idea, a new spark, a new, maybe it's giving us a new direction to go in. And so then the Knight of Wands comes in and it's encouraging us to go forward, go with it. Absolutely ride out that flame and see what you can do. So it's really, really exciting. Um, so now here on the sides, I'm going to use Pocket of Peers tarot tiles. We're going to see what they have to say on the left and what they have to say on the right. Just 
gonna give him a quick shuffle here. Okay, so we've got the moon. Seven of Pentacles. And the Five of Wands. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So definitely from this side now, I am feeling like it is personal, like inner work that we've been doing. Um, the moon is all about mystery, introspection, intuition, uh, kind of delving into that darker work or thinking about things on a deeper level, right? And then the Seven of Pentacles is all about waiting for the growth to happen, waiting for your harvest to come in after putting in the work. But it's 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 an act of patience, right? It's not quite ready yet. So going from the Seven to the Eight, obviously we've progressed some. So uh, doing some inner work, personal work, kind of waiting on seeing how that all developed. And then the five of wands, there may have been some clashing involved here. So it may have been confronting those uncomfortable things, those difficult emotions. Maybe you've been healing from some trauma and you're kind of waiting to see the benefits of that all play out. So very, very interesting, but I'm definitely feeling like it's more inner work here that we're seeing. So now we're going to lay them out here on the right side with the king of wands or the, sorry, the knight of wands. Okay, so we have the Page of Pentacles. We have the Hanged One. And we have Teacher. So, <clears throat> so now, with this Knight of Wands energy that we have come into, right, we've done the work, we have really refined it, what it means, that has led us to a point of, aha, it's that aha moment, and now we're ready to take this passion and do something with it. So, the Page of Pentacles comes into me as the beginnings of the physical manifestation of that passion maybe maybe healing from some of this past hurt this uh or you know learning learning more about yourself learning i don't know what i'm trying to say uh self work essentially right the self work has led to an aha moment and now we're all fired up so now let's do something with it, right? Let's let's make it tangible and begin to see physical results from our passions that now all this effort has got us here. And the hanged one, usually, uh, traditionally, if you read it upright, it is uh, a card about changing perspective, right? Or waiting, patience. Uh, some even might go as far to say martyrdom. I don't really see it that way, but I have seen people discuss it as such. Um, but in this case, I'm feeling like it's saying, don't, don't wait, right? Like, now is the time. It's, it's, it's time to do something about it. It's not time to wait anymore. The waiting growth effort has been done, and you've gotten the inspiration, so let's roll, right? And then teacher, what have we learned? What have, what has all of this taught us? What have we gain from going through this experience. How can we use it to make something concrete? Maybe all of this work has taught you that you want to help others with what you have learned. Maybe dealing with the past or dealing with your own traumas has led you to want to be able to be a counselor in some aspect or, you know, a big brother, big sister program. I don't know why that's coming to mind, but, uh, it's putting you in a position to be a teacher, to help those others 
So that's really actually very, very cool. It's a lot of personal development here, and now you're going to do something with it. So let's take a nature's portal, and we have the cow. So I did write some keywords on here. Uh, Jamie has her guidebook that comes with it, and she just gives you some ideas about how she sees the animals, but really leaves it to your own interpretation, how you see these certain animals. So I've changed some of the keywords, I've added some, I've gone with some of hers because I agree, but for the cow, uh, we've got domestic, rest, take your time, and being gentle in nature. So this is where we're coming from, right? It's coming from a place of love. It's coming from a place of what can I do to help others? How can I channel this into a big act of love to to yeah to to help others that's just I don't that that continually screams at me so that's what I'm seeing with the cow which is really 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 sweet so now down here on the bottom I'll draw some Sawyer's Lenormand tiles Okay, so we have sun. Whip. And lady. So, the sun to me is an omen of positive things. It is the happiness. It's kind of like the sun card to me in tarot. Uh, it definitely talks about positive things, positive times, and luck, and energy, and success, and opportunity, all the positive things, right? So it's, like I said, it's kind of akin to the tarot. So the whip, here we're talking about, you know, um, perhaps some arguments or competition or some, some form of conflict, right? So good things have come from the conflict that we have endured, right? It's, it's led us to positive things. It's brought us to this good place. Good things have come out of bad, shall we say, to break it down. And then lady, um, I think she's just coming up because I am feminine, but it could also have to do with a positive female aspect or a positive female role in your life. Um, it could tie back into that cow with that motherly nurturing energy. Now, now is the time. I, I sound like a broken record. I have no idea why that just keeps, keeps coming out, but take that what you will. And now, in these four corners here, we're going to lay out some points to ponder dice. Jamie has really made some really fun divination tools. It's been, it's been a lot of playtime, kind of interacting with all these different mediums. I've really, really liked it. So let's see. Okay. So here we have buy, avoid, what, and burn. <clears throat> so when we talk about buying, we talk about exchange, we talk about transaction, we talk about accumulating things that you didn't have before. Again, that really, for me, is tying into this work that we've been doing, right? Like, we've, we've gained something out of it. We've, we've had a transaction where we've gained something. The what, I feel like that's just throwing it out there for you to decide. So what, what have you bought? What has this gotten you? What does this process mean to you? That's what these two kind of are giving to me. And then over here we have avoid and we have burn. So 
when you talk about the shadow aspect of the knight of wands right he can kind of or she can kind of be destructive like no holes barred go for it i'm gonna get it doesn't matter kind of one track mind i will bulldoze anyone and anything that gets in my way of getting what i want so avoid the burnout channel it yes do something with it yes but don't burn out don't push it to the point of where you lose the value in the work that you've done i think that's uh that's kind of what it's what it's saying to me here so yeah this this has been actually a really really fun reading and it seems like all this work that we've been doing is really going to pay off and we're we're to the point now where we have the chance we have the opportunity and we have the calling to do something with it so let's create something out of it let's make something positive out of the things that we have endured embrace those that want to nurture us and help us but don't push it too far do everything that you can to push this flame as far as you want to take it but not to the point of your own detriment because then this hard work will kind of suffer so i'm not sure if any of that made sense hopefully it resonated for some of you and if not i at least hope you've enjoyed my rambling <laughs> i really appreciate you guys tuning in as i said i know it's been a while since I've been on here, so still kind of working out the kinks, how to do this um, as a quote-unquote live format, so I'll get better at it, I'll get smoother, but you know, the first step is to put it up, right? The first step is to just do it and try and see what happens, so I appreciate you guys hanging in there with me, and I hope you enjoyed playing, and I will see you guys soon. Thanks guys, bye!